welcome to this month's Wild World of Wounds. This month we're going to go over creatinine clearance. Uh, I got interested in this because of uh, the adjustments we have to do to patients dosing when we see a patient with renal failure. This is a calculation that helps us figure out how a dose needs to be adjusted based on a patient's renal function. When I started looking at this formula, I found it was actually very complicated because I didn't know which body weight to use. There's all these different body weight calculations you can do. The patient's actual weight, their adjusted weight, their lean body weight, uh, their ideal body weight. And it turns out that the uh, formula that's uh, typically used uses a specific weight based on if the patient's thin, normal weight, or overweight. And uh, there's some literature that says we should be using a particular weight calculation for each patient. So let me show you first one calculator that I really like, and that is from MD Calc. So here's a calculator to figure out the patient's creatinine clearance, and this is from the Cockroft Galt equation. There's multiple types of equations that can be used, but uh, this is probably one of the most common. And it's important to also know that the creatinine clearance is to try and help figure out really what you want to know is the glomerular, glomerular filtration rate, the GFR. And creatinine clearance is a rough estimate of that. It's not an exact uh, measure. It's a calculated measure. And it can be pretty far off. Uh, typically, creatinine clearance actually can be 10 to 20 percent off because the tubules actually excrete creatinine. So it's not a true measure of what's really being filtered. But it's still what's commonly used. All right, so let's go ahead and use this calculator and see what we come up with. So let's say they're male. Let's say their age is 46. They weigh 160 pounds. Their creatinine is 1. And let's say their height is 68 inches. So you see right away these numbers pop up, but it's not just one number. Here's the number if you just use the standard body weight. Here's the number. That, if, that you should use if they're overweight, because if they're overweight, it's recommended you use the adjusted body weight, and there's a formula for that, and this automatically figures that formula and gives you the correct number using that adjusted body weight, but here's the range between their ideal body weight and their adjusted body weight. The, the actual body weight is up here, and that is actually the, the largest number. So what's interesting is the uh, range is truly 89.3 all the way up to 94.9 depending on which weight you use. So you can see that well which number should I use and there's actually some guidance for that and you'll see what I like about this calculator at the bottom it actually says that based on the literature and recommendations they recommend for underweight patients that you use their actual total body weight with no adjustments for normal body weight people, they recommend using their ideal body weight, which is going to be at the low end. And for obese patients, they recommend using the adjusted body weight, which is going to be between the two. And uh, here, here are the different formulas they give you for the different weights, the different weight equations. I'm now going to show you what the pharmacists at our hospital actually use. They use a different calculator, which I like even better. And that is available to you online. And I'll pull that up for you. This comes from Global RPH. And I'm going to put in that, those same parameters. All right, so here I've put in age 46, creatinine of 1. A, I'm a male. And here what's uh, uh, interesting about this is there's different ways that the creatinine is, is uh, measured. And at our hospital, they always use the conventional method. So that's checked. Non-black. Height, weight, is the serum creatinine stable? I'll say yes to make things simple, and then I'll click calculate, and you'll see why I like this calculator, why the pharmacists like it too. See that beautiful arrow? So this calculator actually takes into account my, my body weight and actually recommends which one of these different types of formulas and different weights should be used. And you can see here it says we should be using my ideal body weight and this nice red glowing arrow says this is the one that I should probably be using but look at that range I mean all the way from 94 to 77 so you can see there's a lot of give and play with these calculations but this is the one that the calculator says would make the most sense to use
So you can't beat that, a nice glowing red arrow. I think that's why the pharmacists like it as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed this month's Wild World of Wounds. How to cal calculate creatinine clearance. It's not as simple as you might think. It might be easier just to call the pharmacist. But it's also nice to have some idea of what calculation they're doing so that you can be a check and balance to whatever prescription you're going to write for the patient. Okay, I'll see you next month. Bye for now.